We are going to talk <laughs> about Nev Campbell. We are going to talk about the fact that she uh, she had told us before that she did not feel that she was offered a fair amount of money for the upcoming Scream 6. Yes, they are on the sixth Scream oh movie. Gosh, it says, why? Nev Campbell says Scream 6 salary wouldn't be an issue if I were a man. At the time that we first covered this, I thought um, maybe we could give her some credit for actually walking away mm -hmm. when they wouldn't pay her fairly. A lot of women maybe wouldn't do that. And that's what you should do. When you're not, when, when you don't feel like you've offered, you should ask for the amount that you feel that you're worth. <clears throat> and if they yeah. don't offer it to you, then you have to make a choice. Yeah. You have to make a choice. Am I willing to lower what I believe I'm worth for the sake of this franchise that I've worked on extensively over the last 25 yeah. years? Or do I stick by my guns and say, no, I'm worth more than this? The guys, I would feel, would walk away. Well, she did end up walking away. So guys would walk away. She's doing what the guys would normally do. Did she get specific about what her asking no. price was? The, I saw, like, I was looking up for, Because I'm like, curious about that. I was looking up for, her net worth is, like, $10 million. Oh and my. there's actually this other article that I thought was really interesting uh, from Distractify that talks about Scream 6 is down one of its biggest stars. Uh, and then they talk about, and a lot of the language is hilarious to me. So it says, according to Box Office Mojo, Scream 5 brought in $140 million worldwide. And according to Celebrity Net Worth, Nev Campbell is sitting on roughly $10 million. It's hard to look at that description Discrepancy that is not a, oh, uh, I, I know. Uh, we, we don't currently know what the salaries of any of the stars of Scream 5 are, but Nev Campbell's net worth uh, is on the lower end of the scale compared to some of the other actors in the franchise. Courtney Cox was in Friends. She's going to be a gazillionaire for the rest of her life. Obviously. On royalties, okay? Yeah. Uh, David Arquette... Which is now a thing of the past. Yes. Uh, d yeah, that's the other thing. She, they pulled the ladder up behind him with the streaming stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, David Arquette has done very well for himself as a producer as right. well, uh, as an actor. So that it's really funny that they like... They, they, and they also make the $140 million... They call it a discrepancy. It's hard to look at that discrepancy. What the F are you talking yeah. about? Uh, you mean a movie made more than its actor is worth? That's not unusual. So this is what she says about it. She says, um, <laughs> she says, I did not feel that what I was being offered equated to the value that I bring to this franchise and have brought the, uh, and have brought to this franchise for 25 years. Campbell told people as a woman in the business, I think it's really important for us to be valued and to fight to be valued. I honestly don't believe that if I were a man and had done five installments of a huge blockbuster franchise over 25 years, that the number that I was offered would be the number that would be offered a man. Uh, she added, in my soul, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't walk on set feeling uh, undervalued and feeling the unfairness or lack of fairness around that. Is there a weird obsession both in Hollywood and especially with women in Hollywood on the concept of fairness? Yes, I think so. What? <laughs> When I it talked it about, depends what you mean. When I talked about the 355 and Jessica Chastain fought to make sure that all three of the leads of that movie made the exact same amount of money. That's an obsession with fairness. Right. Jessica Chastain's uh, name would carry more value than two of the other people's names of course. on that movie or uh, in that film. So uh, The issue is uh, that Campbell is not the only leading role in the franchise, and she's saying it as if she would uh, compare she herself the to the leading man in some other franchise. Is she, uh, okay, is she, she is the lead of this franchise. She, she absolutely is. The other ones are, are in it are definitely considered supporting characters. So she's worth a lot, and good for her yeah. for kind of sticking to her guns and being like, I deserve more. That is exactly what you have to do. Part of the reason that men make more money than women is because men tend to be a little more disagreeable mm -hmm. and a little more willing to take risk. Can you check with the chat and make sure we're still live? Let's see here. Looks fine. I still see us. Guys. Yeah. Uh, the chat is are, still going. Okay. I'm getting an error message. Nope, we're good. On, we're on, good. I'm from yeah. Studio. We sometimes get that error. Okay. So, For so me, it's yeah, good. Don't worry okay. about it. It's right. fine. But anyway, um, I don't think that that discrepancy, the fact that men are better at negotiating and advocating for themselves is than women is possible to solve. It's I don't not, even think it's yeah. a problem that yeah. needs to be solved. It's just a difference. And what are it, without expecting women to just change and suddenly behave differently? What is a solution, w or what is a That's way to saying. mitigate that a in any way? Like, I I guess if you hire somebody who is responsible for negotiating your price, mm -hmm. then you don't need to worry about it. Yeah, and that person maybe you should decide should be a man. Right. Exactly. D but uh, other than that, I can't think of uh, unless you're in. An extraordinarily 
disagreeable woman. I, I don't think that you can that get you? around this. Are you a highly disagreeable woman? I think so, yeah. yeah. High I don't think it's a good thing. I, yeah, in fact, unusual. like... It's unusual. It's unusual, but, you know, most women are too agreeable to get into conflicts of interest with people in a business this cutthroat. I yeah. also think that uh, the, 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 this is where I say this, to the studio... They're basing it on what they think that the return on the investment will be, right? They, the guy, the the studio executive doesn't care if it's a dude or. A, would or, this or, have or, a theatrical release? Yes, it will. Absolutely. I, that does mean the stakes are higher. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe so. So here's another thing. Uh, I don't know how to put this. Go ahead. Go on. I, Go I, on. <laughs> are you trying to be politically correct? I'm waiting. You know what? N never mind. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think your point about having like a good male manager is great. I feel like this disagreeability factor kind of highlights that women were supposed to have a role in society that they're trying now to fill a male role. Call me crazy. Yeah. I know this is a hot topic. Yeah. I Okay. Here's what I was going to say. <laughs> I think it's not totally inaccurate to point out that women need to be likable more than men they need to be pleasant they yeah, need to be liked point. a lot more than yeah. men in this industry in particular but in all of them now that i think about it like a lot of times when i point out that concept of like warmth in characters yes. and likability it is far more important not, for a female character to be likable than it is for it's, a, it's not fact, just characters point. though it's yeah. real life yeah. too and if you have a situation where you're negotiating a price and someone takes away an impression of you that you're disagreeable, mm -hmm. that you're entitled, et cetera, you are more likely to be labeled as hard to work with We're, and therefore not given more roles in the future. And the guy mm. would That's be labeled and the guy would be labeled as a go getter. Uh, go or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or I as, wanted to say that in a way that wasn't like I know. <laughs> whining I know. about <laughs> like <laughs> it's so hard for women. But yeah. like it's just that's different. a fact. I it's think diff it's different. It's OK. Women have to be very resourceful to figure out a balance between like advocating for themselves and also remaining like pleasant to be around yeah yeah you know uh i think too uh like hugh laurie was making like a million dollars an episode on house uh he does not need to be likable as a character and, and likely when you've made uh when you're making that much money per episode uh your value of the show's named after you your value is instrument like they cannot go on they can't without do you. anything without you uh, you do whatever you want there's and there's very few shows like that like they they continued on with uh ncis without mark Harmon, and he was on it literally from day one right like they they can they can find a way and that's what they're doing with this by slowly introducing younger and younger like she gets older but they're still dealing with like high school and post high school and Audience like college stays kids the same, yeah. uh so so she's becoming less and less important to the franchise it would have been better for yeah. her to walk away in the third uh, in like the second or the third movie for more money probably than okay. than than in the first than in the sixth one the, by yeah. now they've officially franchised it they don't need her any or they, they've officially moved past the point where they need her the mask and the the guy who does all the killing in the movie he is the go he's the the biggest draw to it he's now the beside her yeah which is funny because i use her as a fantastic example of strong female character when people talk about uh, mm -hmm. uh she's she's great uh, well it, uh, another thing i wanted to bring up about mm -hmm. this is um related to that like strong female character mm -hmm. thing and how much that's degraded because uh we have these portrayals of uh high powered like female CEOs professionals who are very girl boss who are girl yeah. bosses who are their characters are not pleasant to be around they're cold yeah. they are calculated yeah. <laughs> they make up for the blunders of men around them and I think a lot of the times that conditions female viewers to think this is how you can get ahead in life as a woman just be like as disagreeable as possible but when usually in reality can, yeah. you need to be not only attractive but a warm person that not not in a manipulative way that's nefarious but in a way that you just are empathetic enough to understand how other people think to communicate effectively. If anything, those examples that Hollywood shows are supposed to be the exception, not the rule, because it's like that's what makes this character. I'm sure those exceptions exist yeah. in the real yeah. in the real world. But like that's Anna not, Wintour is yeah. a 
an example of that. She's not a warm or nice yeah. person, but she is made it to a very high powered role. Yeah. That's almost never going to happen very in real life, unusual. especially in a, in a business in entertainment where it's all about who you know and who likes you. That's if, what it is. If Marvel can go on without Johnny, uh, without uh, Robert Downey Jr., unfortunately, Scream, as long as they've got the mask and the costume and the knife and the stabby, stabby, yeah, stabby, yeah. they can go on without There's a formula the for There's it. There's a formula. And that comes down I to mean, the corporate... I mean, can Fast and Furious go without Vin Diesel? I think it could. I think so, I do. too. There's enough yeah. people There's in it now. Yeah, I, I, there's a formula for, to that now. Where See, it's not about like being a man like, or a woman. If they could go on with Paul without Paul Walker, they can. They were able to go on. Like right. the 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 the, uh-huh. the series theoretically should have ended after the seventh one. There was no reason, especially with the seventh one being as good as it was. There was no reason not or to make eight, nine, and ten. Now, uh. Uh, get, don't get me wrong. I love all of Funny. them as I as I advocated heavily for uh, you know I I took I heard the blasphemous comments that Hannah Claire made on on IRL about something about the Fast and Furious not being good I don't know some <laughs> some some malarkey yeah uh, you need to go on IRL and counter I, her yes <laughs> yeah. at some point here uh, I I came down to the studio after I said we at Pop Culture Crisis do not in any way endorse the opinions of Hannah Claire Brimlow <laughs> or any of her opinions on the Fast and the Furious we it's do not all good everyone's entitled to their own opinion including about sequels exactly no, so crazy. <laughs> so the the question is would she have made more money in a in a horror franchise I don't know horror franchises are typically lower fe- budget and far lower budget lower and income. female dominated they they just made uh, their ho- is it because we like seeing women scared that's an <laughs> that interesting a, cultural I mean, that question. isn't a whole nother debate for a whole nother day. Sorry, I'll, 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 I'll get that. <laughs> um, keep that in mind. But uh, like, ja- like, I'm sure Jamie Lee Curtis made fairly good money for, for that, but those are still Blumhouse films, and Blumhouse is still a smaller studio. They're not yeah. going to be paying her $30 uh-huh. million dollars for, for that role. Those movies are profitable because they're cheap to make and, and gross heavy amounts at the box office. So... I think she over I, as as weird as it is to say. I do think she kind of played her hand, and that's just what happens. I guess. Yeah. Like, feel bad for, her, but uh, you know, everything is imminently reusable now. You do not need the the star anymore. That's that's kind of the way Hollywood is going. Yeah, it's a hard lesson to so, learn. You've been yeah. in like five different movies, but it is what it is. What else is coming out? Uh, re- like I'm trying to think of like what else is coming out recently that. Uh, that would require the star. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Maybe somebody in the chat no, can give the me flash. a flash. No. <laughs> no, not the flash. <laughs> um, He's like, don't get me started. <laughs> maybe Jason Momoa is Aquaman because no one cared about Aquaman before. Then they him. just don't do the character. Then it's like, uh, like they trash who, do you, it. who do you put in there for, uh, cover him? Like, do you do like, uh, like <sighs> I, I was thinking of um, the, the rock. They just get the rock to be both black Adam and Aquaman <laughs> uh, and swap them out. Or, uh, who, who's the kid from Zach Efron who was in who was in Baywatch with with The Rock? Oh my gosh, I don't Wait, know. Wait, what? Zach Efron? I think so. That sounds right. Yeah. He was, was it him? He was okay. in he was in the Baywatch movie. He's in pretty good shape. They could have him do it. And, uh, <laughs> it, it, it. He'd be a far less cool version of Jason. There is no one irreplaceable. You're I don't right. think. I don't think there is. I don't think irreplaceable exists in in Hollywood anymore. Know. Maybe the only on, thing uh, on I the, can think of is Pirates of the Caribbean. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, there's examples. But they're even right? going to try it. They're going to try. For they might him. try. I don't think he's going to take another deal with Disney. Well, they're going to do their Margot Robbie they're version. They're trying to, yeah, oh, do their Margot uh, Robbie gross. thing. And that's going to draw a lot of people anyway because of her name. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe even Johnny Depp is replaceable. Yeah. Like, uh, let's say, like, all you have to do is pivot the franchise ever so slightly and make it just a little bit different. And yeah. You can, and you can do just about anything yeah it's it's, it's kind of depressing actually it, is a little bit. Like it, it, it kind of puts these people on uh it, it puts them on notice right like whenever you're renegotiating your contract understand you're important but you're not that important not quite that important uh, that's I, why you have to hedge your bets and i feel like even if she didn't get the this role because it wasn't the pay she yeah. wanted it still gave her a portfolio that can get her all of her other roles yep. so and to be honest, you know, $10 million does seem some. low to me. But, like, that's also, like, if you're supposed to compare it to, like, what, Courtney Cox's uh, portfolio or, or like, uh, net worth or, or David Arquette's net worth, th- that's not taking into account what else they've done with their career. Did they invest? Did they uh, d- did they produce rather than just act? There's a lot of ways to make money in Hollywood beyond just what you're paid from role to role. I think that's, like, the low IQ version of how they want you to think about this. Like, he made this much money, and this is what he's worth. He's not paid enough. That's... Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. not realistic. Yeah. It's not realistic. Agreed. Uh, I don't think we can read bad apps. We're not going to read bad apps. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you, bad app. We appreciate that. (laughs) We appreciate that greatly. Smash the like button, as Uh, you say over on TimCast IRL. Well, today I I said, um, I say gently tap the like button. Yes. And uh, and, uh, and asked if they think Ghostface cares about the gender wage gap. Do you think Ghostface cares about the gender (laughs) wage gap when he's chasing you down? Asking the real question. I'm sure that he has very deep insights about it. The gender yeah. fear gap, maybe. Oh, that's, that, all he that's cares not even true. About. The guys are just as scared in the movies as, as the girls are. Didn't, <laughs> yeah. didn't Tim do a thing recently where he talked about how like uh, they did a, a thing where like all the women screamed at something that happened and none of the men screamed. Uh, oh, so, what something was startling that? happened. You, you were probably on. Uh, it might have been when you were gone. Probably so. Uh, yeah. do, do you remember that? Yeah, I can't think of what he was referring to now. Like a scary mouse or something? It was like something like a bunch of like people got startled and all of the women screamed and none of, on like a plane or something. Maybe? Oh, interesting. The turbulence on a plane. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's funny. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because like women feel fear more strongly, but it's like a signal like males protect now. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.